Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This channel, Aware Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of Aware Science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, we are going to solve this question on lead code regarding human traffic of stadium. The difficulty level of this question is hard, and I'm going to share the SQL schema as well as the panda schema in the description box below. Okay, the question reads: We are given a table called stadium with three different columns: ID, visit date, and people. Visit date is the column with unique values for this table. Each row of this table contains the visit date and visit ID to the stadium with the number of people during the visit. it as the id increases the date increases as well okay write a solution to display the records with three or more rows with consecutive ids and the number of people is greater than or equal to 100 for each return the result table ordered by visit date in ascending order okay let's go through this example so here we have eight different records various visit dates and the number of people so first and foremost thing that we need to keep in mind is number of people should be greater than or equal to 100 so obviously row number 2 and 4 are eliminated so if we look at ids 1 2 and 3 they cannot be in the output why because one has less than 100 people so 2 3 4 4 also has 99 right so 2 3 4 cannot be in the output similarly 3 4 5 cannot be in the output 4 5 6 cannot be in the output but if we look at 5 6 7 and 8 obviously all of them can be in the output because the ids are consecutive as well as the number of people are greater than equal to 100 and that is what we have in our output so to solve this question what we need is we need two condition firstly the number of people should be greater than equal to 100 and then we need to employ our knowledge of consecutivity that we have learned in this series in the past so what we can do is from this table called stadium let us keep only those rows where people is greater than equal to 100 and let me go ahead and return all the columns and let let us you know run this and see what do we get in our output okay so if we look at it we have only those rows where people are greater than equal to 100 then what we need is we need to find whether the ids are consecutive or not so what we learned about this is to find consecutivity in a certain thing you can basically rank in ascending order and find the difference and if they are consecutive that means they are increasing by 1 and rank is also increasing by 1 so the difference is always going to be the constant so let me just demonstrate you once again here so let's use the row number and over order by the id column and let's alias this as rank let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so this is assigned rank 1 rank 2 3 4 and so on and if we do a difference that is id minus rank let us try to do that so id minus rank and let's alias this something as difference right so that is what we are calculating difference let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so now if you look at it if they are consecutive that means the difference will remain same and the moment they are you lose that consecutive nature the difference changes you see so that is what we have now once we have this that means we need to find all the differences where the count is greater than equal to 3 why because we need only those rows where records with three or more rows with consecutive ids so what we can do is let's save this in a common table expression so with ct as this entire thing goes into parentheses and then what we are going to do is from this common table expression let us group by the difference and keep only those having the count star that is at least 3 right so having greater than equal to 3 and for them let us return the difference part of it so let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get it should return difference equal to 2 only right because we saw that for them it was less greater than equal to 3 right so difference is 2 now what we can do is from this common table expression right so we had all the columns as well as the difference let us keep only those ones where difference is equal to the difference that we calculated in this part right because that is going to give us the consecutive part of it so what we can do is let's have this as a sub query right so this is a sub query you can make this another common table expression too as well but let me just do it with the sub query so from this common table expression keep only those rows where your difference is in whatever has been calculated from this part 
and let us return the id because in our output we only need the three columns initially that we had so visit date as well as people and this should be ordered by visit date in ascending order so order by visit date in ascending order let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so yeah this is accepted if we look at our output it is exactly same as expected output let me go ahead and submit to surpass all the test cases so yeah, this is accepted and this is how to do it so tricky question basically what we had to do was firstly we found out the consecutive nature for only those rows where people are greater than or equal to 100 and once we found out that difference we grouped by that difference to get okay in that particular difference how many rows do you have because in our output we need at least three or more consecutive ids and then once we are able to find that difference we kept only those rows where the difference was in that particular thing that we calculated so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there's a better more efficient solution to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video